That actually did happen. <laughs> but with Tyvis here, we got to talk special teams real quick. Yes, the we Browns do. Browns have made a conscious effort to bring in some special teams <laughs> aces. No one knows special teams on this panel like our boy Tyvis Powell. So, Tyvis, are we underrating the overall value of these three signs in Jordan Kanasik, Mike Ford, and Matthew Long? And how much better can this Brown special teams unit be with these three guys? Listen, it is, it is clear to me that the Cleveland Browns, I'm about 65% sure the Cleveland Browns watch this show. I'm mm. going to tell you why. Only 65%? I'm about 65% mm. because yeah. remember that when we when they signed Bubba Ventrone, yeah. and I got on here and I talked about the importance of special teams, and I said the one thing that when we look at the Cleveland Browns, name me the guy who's our core special teams guy. Yeah. And mm-hmm. we said, we don't have one. What did they just go do? They went out and addressed guys that strictly core guys for special teams. I think well, aren't two of the three guys they signed guys who were here. Who? No, no, only just no. Oh, back. just Kanasik. Yeah, just the, okay. the 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 Matthew and what's his name? Andrew and, and Matthew Ford. Mike Ford. Adams and, Mike, uh, Ford uh, Mike Ford is a, Ford, is a special Adams. teams. Right. And then yes, the uh, the the Matthew guy uh, graded on the PFF like 90 percent in special teams l- okay. last year. So they went out there and they got those guys and you need guys that look at it like, OK, listen, I'm not going to be I'm not going to the Hall of Fame for playing middle linebacker or cornerback. But I can make a killing. I can go to the Pro Bowl, and I really take special teams to to very seriously. And that's what you needed on the Browns. And I think they went out there and they got those guys that's that's going to look at that and bring a new attitude to special teams. Think about it like this: as a special teams player, I can dictate the the energy that this game is going to be. I can make a play that might save us the game, win the game. Yeah. And they need guys like that. And I think those are what they are. What's the rub those off three. on the other units when when a big special? Oh teams my goodness. Is that, so when on that kickoff, I'm telling you, when I was with the LOB, they used to. So the first kickoff in Seattle, they always put Earl and Cam Chancellor on there. First now, one of every game. Yeah, every one. That's every, smart. They always was I like on that. it, and, and they said that that's what they wanted to do. And the reason that they did that was because they wanted to show like the young guys how important special teams was. And it really didn't mean anything because I'm like, these guys is the safeties. Like, they're not about to make no plays. Well, Cam went down there and lit this dude up on the phone kickoff. And, I mean, the energy just was – everybody was turked up for the rest of the game and they ended up being a landslide and win for the for Seattle in that game. So, Pete Carroll team, always emphasized yeah. special And teams. it was like the, the great players that, like, Doug Baldwin was like, I want to be on pump block. All wow. these guys really looked into special teams and was like, this is – because they made their names – off of special teams. Usually, if you're not a first or second round pick and you become like a top player, you've made your name off of special teams. So I think people with that mindset that's, that's went through those races are trying to become a guy, look at special teams differently. And I think now that you got guys who's made a living off of special teams, they'll bring a new attitude and make these young guys buy into it. Like, you don't come out on special teams if you look at it like it's just a play. It's not a playoff. It's the play that matters the most. That's the attitude yeah. that they need to have. It's on a third of the team. game. Exactly. And, and Tyvis, don't you think, I mean, are there some players who are like, oh, I can't believe Oh, every time. Teams, yeah, right? yeah, and it's like, we don't do so you don't want guys yeah, like that. Yeah, we don't that. want that guy no. out there. And but I think with Bubba Ventrone, that sets a different yeah. a different. Tenor. Well, he's he's a, these are smart under the radar high. Uh, well, he's yeah, going to look at I, it differently because he played special teams with the yeah. Browns, had a that great career. That was his thing. So you're not about to come out there and dog special teams with him. He's not going to let you do that anyway. It's a mindset, man. The culture on special teams has completely changed. And that's what they Need. Don't you think he has handpicked a, a, a bunch of random dudes like this around the league? He's like, we got to sign this guy yeah, and that guy because they don't knows. cost any that's, money. That's his thing. Yeah, They're all signing t- for a million dollars yeah, Special or teams players don't make that unless you become like a pro bowler or yeah, something right, like that. Right. Now you can ask for I, something. I like it because you got two dudes, Ventro and Schwartz. You know what they're trying to set up? We're not soft like that, man. One of the one of the knocks on the Cleveland Browns is, you know, that this is a disappointing thing to me. When I go back to the 80s, and I go look at some of them tapes, man. I get chills because it was a different type of era. Cats was nasty. Cats was mean. We, they wasn't. They wasn't taking nothing from nobody. They was giving it out. You knew what you was coming to play when you had to come to Cleveland. The Browns are the softest team in football. It, they come. They've been. Now, they come in, and I, 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 the epitome of the Browns is when. When, when old boy for the uh, for the what's his name? He, he got we we kicked him in the face. In the punch? In, yes, Antonio Brown. Oh, Antonio Brown. When Antonio <laughs> Brown jumped up and karate kicked him and nobody team, did nothing. He jumped up like it was Mortal Kombat Six. Remember? Ah! When, gee, remember when the Steelers and killed? And they took that. 
Remember when the Steelers the killed Colt McCoy? It, Nobody did anything. They, so you got to think about it. They knocked Colt McCoy out in that yeah, game. Killed they him. knocked Mohammed Masquois out in that game. Yeah. Yep. And they knocked Josh Cribbs out in that That's game. That's right. And we walked back. We do nothing. And, 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 and guys, and, we're going back a decade. And it hasn't changed. No, the Browns have it been the, the Browns have been one of the softest teams for a long time. And, and, and I'm like, and that's, that's got And that's the problem. And, yeah. And when they go get you some higher, see, I like I, we call special teams dudes goons. When you go get you three specialist goons, mm-hmm. that means that's all they there for. That's they, it. Oh, they, they're for smoke. That is it. I'm only here for smoke. We didn't even worry about no offense and stuff. We not at all. Be, not yeah. at all. We study <laughs> special teams. I went to special teams coach all day. Yeah. And we just talking that's about. It. Kick off, kick return, punt, That's punt it. block. That's and it, it. And it's so funny because often when we think about the importance of special teams, we really think about the kicker most often, right? Yeah. yeah. Because the field goals and whatever. And we have a young kicker who struggled at times, but I think we all think he's got a lot of potential. And it's not. It's, but but we, oh, we always ignore the important things that you talk about. You don't ignore it, but many of us and many fans, we are – culpable of ignoring but if you watch a game and you see a guy run it out of the end zone and you see a tackle made at the 13 yard line oh, it's big that's a huge oh difference. it's big everybody turned up off of that right and, and the thing is i'm not even going to say the browns are bad on the return side because no, no. i think jerome ford is a great kick returner he has some explosive kick returns and we know he dpj well last year dpj was good on punt returns. i think he even took one to the crib and they're getting joaquin grant back who is really good on returns so it's not the return side. It's always been punt and kickoff to me because you need somebody to go to like what is this? They get the return the ball. Nobody's down there forcing fair catches. Nobody is as soon as he catch it. Boom. You run it straight through his face. You know what that do to a defense coming out there. You setting the tone for the whole defense when you come out there and make a huge play like that. And it just I haven't seen it in Cleveland in quite some time. So that's it's good that they're trying to address. Plus we saw the embarrassing, you know, onside kick situation last year. Yeah, we we had they think about it. We had we had a whole ex professional athlete trying to break down why you can't recover an onside kick <laughs> on real TV in live time. They paid him to do that, man. Can you imagine that? That's so crazy, dog. Should never happen. Like, mm-hmm. it, I was not like, with the rules change. It should never happen. This is like middle school. But here's what I, I'll give them credit. Somebody must have been listening somewhere because they are actually doing something. As for the offseason, I love what they did with Ventrone and what they do in the special teams. I like that. I love what you did with the defensive line. I love that too. Yeah, they they address it. They have addressed the glaring needs to me. The only thing that's left is obviously linebacker and wide receiver, Finish which breakfast. which at some point is going to cost you. And I don't know. You got to restructure some deals for, for maybe finish potentially. your food, finish your food, dog. take care of business. And and by the way, they don't get points for addressing their glaring weaknesses. That they know <laughs> my daughter doesn't know anything about football. <laughs> and if she popped in on a game last year, she's like, I don't think that's supposed to happen like that. Yeah. You, you can't you can't. You, that's like your kid. You giving your kid credit for cleaning a room when they were the one that destroyed it. This right. is just your this is just yeah, that's the bare minimum. Right. Now you got to make sure that the guys you brought in are the guys that were needed to fix the problem. Yeah. And I do think on special teams, we're a lot closer to being able to say, yeah, I think they got that right. I agree. On I, defense, I think we all agree the moves made them better. Yep. Well, I think and I think the coordinator made better. them yeah, better. I was about to say the coordinators uh, was the biggest that thing. That was to me I mean, because you, you're changing completely the culture. Yeah. It, it might not necessarily been the players. Like, you, the players were, you know, we had some big-name players that just didn't do it. But did the coach get that out of them? Did yeah. They, they allowed things. They allowed Jadavion not to play on first and second down. They allowed, That's you know, these guys to go out there and, and mm-hmm. have and, and, pl- and let the Falcons run the ball 12 times. Like, they allowed that to go out mm-hmm. on the field and it was no punishment for it. Right. So now you got coaches in there that's going to hold people res- uh, accountable and responsible and it's going to be you're going to look at it totally different because I, now if you can't do what I ask you to do, we will put you on the sideline and put somebody in there that at least if I'm going to go out, I'm going to at least go out with somebody that cares. Effort. Effort. Jim Schwartz yeah, got to put it. bounties on guys heads. Let's go. <laughs> well, let's not go that far. <laughs> <laughs> Jim, secretly do that. Secretly. That happened once Keep upon a time. It didn't end well. That, Other like, teams are doing for it. For Greg Williams. I think I think you know uh, they they they've done some nice things. They on track now. Just just finish it off, mm. bro. 